now I show you like the Dock Temple beach entry or exit, how you want to call it. It's actually um, directly in Goa, North Goa. And here it is. That's the Dock Temple. So it's like a dog shelter, which is like housing roughly 70 dogs. We have two volunteers, me included, and yes. Now I'm gonna give you a small tour through the dog temple. So we are here in Arabul Beach, directly there. And here we are. So we have here's the pool station, <laughs> it's the graveyard, of the old dogs. This is one house from one of the owner or founder. Yes, and here we have already some dogs. Daddy had meetings in the past, so spiritual things. That's the kitchen, where we prepare the food for the dogs. And here we have a small dog who hurt his leg. Hello! Hello! Cutie! <laughs> so here we prepare the food. They get mainly um, rice, lentils and dry food and sometimes vegetable or fish or eggs and yes and then there's the pump house where we have our pumps like for water for cleaning and everything that's also one part of our job actually you see the bowls which we fill with food and then clean here's some more dogs that's also a fixed hut so a bigger one not the one for the volunteers as i am and they are everywhere. Look at those cuties. So yeah. Then we have here Rapunzel. <laughs> and there's also one dog. Hello. She gets bullied by all the other dogs. That's the reason why she's all day long here. Hello. Yeah. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Yes, that's actually our storeroom. Here you see already some benefits from the monsoon. We get grass or green leaves on the sand floor. It's actually the next main house. And here we have our morning meeting where we sit together and discuss what's up for the day or what's not up for the day. It's Jack. It's Simba. Hello guys! Yeah, such cute boys and girls. I don't know if they are girls or boys to be honest. And maybe this you also didn't know. All dogs which are sterilized have these cut ears. I don't know if it's only in India, but here you see they all have a cut in their ear, which means they cannot make any babies anymore. And that's Sunny. She's one of my dogs in the hut. Hello baby. Yes, this is just a cage to catch uh, wild dogs because we sometimes sterilize also dogs from outside. And you see here our volunteer kitchen and we have a small stove, our fridge and that's Bonjack. Hello! Hello! She's also super fun, cute. For her it took a long time till uh, I could touch her because she was so scared of human I don't know yeah yes now I will show you my hut did you know how this volunteer hut looks like that's the main entry of the dog temple that's it so it's a bit um, not sorted everything let's say it like that that's my stuff, my clothes, that's my bed, that's my cupboard. Then you have one fan here, which is like, as you see, working like hell. And um, you get also a second one, that you can sleep a bit better. And yes, we have a washing machine for these things, for the sheets. And yes, that's actually the main part. Or actually, that's everything. And yeah, we have roughly 70 dogs here. We don't take any new ones and 
it's super chilled here. So if you want to do this as a volunteer job, very, very cool. Very cool. I can totally recommend it. It's my first volunteer job. So yeah, everything is fine. Ha, ha, ha.